What we're going to be going over here is an installment sales contract with interest earned on this contract. And this is where the seller and the buyer set up a schedule of equal payments here consisting of both interest and principal. And for example here, the company is going to sell an asset here. The sales price is 6000 The cost of the asset here is 4800 So the difference gives us a gross profit here of $1,200. So we have to first figure out our gross profit rate. And that would be simply the gross profit here of 1200 here divided by the sales price of 6000 that's going to give us a gross profit rate here of 20% on this on this contract now this is where we have to set up our uh, payment schedule here and um, cash receipts here so what we're going to do is we're going to base this example here on an 8% interest rate and it, the contract's going to be over three years here that they pay this uh, 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 pay for this asset here the company selling this asset is going to receive payments here three equal payments over uh, three years here so what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to determine uh, the cash payment here the cash receipts on this contract and we're also going to have to determine our interest earned here and then we'll be looking at the installment receivable here and also the realized gross profit on this contract so first thing here for our payments here now this is these are annuity payments that you have to deal with here so we'll just use a calculator here a financial calculator to determine our payments here the payments that we're going to receive uh, for uh, this asset that we sell here so these payments here these cash payments or these cash receipts include the um, uh, principal itself here plus the interest. So for our calculator, well, we're going to be th over three years here, so you just put in three. The interest rate, you put in 8%, and then the present value, that's $6,000 here. That's the uh, sales price of the of the uh, asset that we're selling here. And then the future value, we want to amortize it down here to zero here. So uh, put the future value at zero, hit your payment uh, key here and you're going to get the payment here at twenty three hundred and twenty eight dollars so that's like three cash payments that we're going to, our cash receipts we're going to receive here on the selling of this asset and that includes the interest here so now for our interest earned here what we have to do is we have to first look at the installment the unpaid balance and we're starting out with six thousand dollars here because that's the sales price that we're dealing with here so for our interest earned that's simply taking the eight percent here the interest rate yearly interest rate here times six thousand the beginning balance here that's going to give us four hundred and eighty dollars worth of interest here for the first year so taking that uh, different take subtracting that here to four hundred eighty from our cash uh, uh, receipt we have here of total amount here 2328 our installment receivable is going to be $1,848 and we'll look at how we would uh, record that here later on so uh, to determine our next uh, in unpaid balance here for the second year you just take the 1848 subtract that from the previous balance here our original sales price here of 6000 you're going to come up with $4,152 okay so you just proceed on doing that in the same fashion here the interest here for the next year here 332 that would be just the 8% here times the unpaid balance here 4152 dollars here so that's going to give us our interest earned here subtract the interest earned from our uh, cash receipt here uh, cash payment for the year here 2328 you're going to get the installment receivable here of 1996 dollars just proceed on in that fashion until you uh, complete your third year here so the installment receivable total amount we're going to receive is six thousand dollars and that's the sales price so uh, that's what we started out here with our uh, uh, unpaid balance here the installment and we amortized it down now next for our realized gross profit this is what we're going to realize on this uh, sale here each year here this is what we have to we figure that it's going to be that 20 percent gross profit rate times the installment receivable here so first looking at our first uh, year here uh, that's going to be three hundred and sixty nine dollars here the realized gross profit and what we're looking at it in those these terms here you just take the, that the twenty percent here times the installment receivable for the year here of eighteen hundred and forty eight dollars so twenty percent here the eighteen hundred forty eight that's three hundred and sixty nine dollars so just proceed on doing that for each of the following this years two and years three here so looking at years two we would take the nineteen hundred hundred ninety six dollars times a twenty percent gross profit rate here that would be three ninety nine and then the last year here we just take the installment receivable of twenty one fifty six and 
times the 20% that would give us 432. So our total gross profit that we rec would recognized here was $1,200, the total gross profit. But we realize it over the three-year period here. So that's what we'd have to set. We'd, you'd have to set up the schedule here when you're dealing with these installment sales contracts with interest earned. So just going over it one more time here, you have to determine your cash uh, payments or your cash receipts on this installment sales contract and it's based on an even amount over in this case over the three-year period here you have to know your interest rate to determine those cash receipts here and then knowing your interest rate then you can determine your interest earned that's simply the difference here or taking your beginning balance or the unpaid balance here the beginning balance for the year here times the interest rate that gives you interest earned subtract your interest earned from your cash uh, your cash payment here that gives your installment receivable and then realize gross profit that's simply taking the um, what do you ever you calculate for your gross profit rate uh, we went through here times the installment receivable amount for the year that's going to give you the amount of realized gross profit okay so next let's go up here and let's look at how we'd record this here so we're going to start out with our accounts receivable here and also the interest revenue here on this installment sales contract. So what we have to deal with is a cash account here, the accounts receivable and our interest revenue. And we're going to take them right off the um, uh, schedule that we have here. So for our cash receipts, we debit or increase our cash you know, for installment sales here by the amount of cash. Those that even number of uh, the constant payment over those three years here at twenty three hundred and twenty eight dollars each year here you would debit or increase your cash account and then for your accounts receivable well we started out here with a uh, debitor of six thousand dollars here so what we would be doing here on our receivable here we just take it off our chart here the first year just looking at 1848 here so credit or reduce our accounts receivable here by 1848 dollars because we would have received so, uh, that $2,328 worth of cash. So the debit would have went to cash here. But the uh, receivable, that was for the uh, principal amount here, 1848 But we also have that interest revenue here. So taking our interest revenue, again, taking that off our chart here. Uh, well, for each of the years here, 480 through in each in 332 and 172. So credit your interest revenue on your income statement for those amounts here for each of the years here. So what we have done here, we would have re reduced our accounts receivable on this installment sales, and uh, just looking at it here by eight for the first year here, 1848 uh, dollars here that A amount here, and then. Adding to that here, uh, that would have been a credit amount here in our accounts receivable. And then in our interest revenue on our income statement, we also had a credit here of 480 for the year here. So uh, those two credits here for our reduction in our accounts receivable plus what we recognize in interest revenue here, 480, uh, balances with the debit amount of cash that we received here of $2,328. So that'll take care of our uh, receivables here uh, on our on our installment contract here. Now next we have to go down here and we have to deal with our realized gross profit. And what you're going to do here for deter the realized gross profit is going to be on the income statement here and that we're going to look at that here. But first you have to set up this deferred gross profit account here. And this deferred gross profit account is a contra account to the accounts receivable so you can see what's going on here the deferred gross profit uh, we started out here with a credit amount here of twelve hundred dollars now remember that credit here is a contra to our accounts receivable that reduces our accounts receivable so twelve hundred was the gross profit amount here and then for each of the years here, let's just look at how we'd realize it. We have to reduce our deferred gross profit account here or debit it here. So again, going down to our chart here, let's just go down to our chart. This was the realized gross profit that we have for each of those years here that we calculated here. So what we would do, taking those amounts here, you just for each year here, debit or reduce your gross profit by those amounts. So looking at the first year here, we had debit or reduce our gross profit here by 369 dollars here and then 
the credit would go to the realized gross profit here on those sales here on our income statement. Credit that here for $369. And then each of the next years here, same thing, just take it off your chart here. Uh, 390 in a debit or reduce your gross profit here for the next year, 399. And then in year two here, credit or your realized gross profit here, 399. And then finally here last year, 432. And you debit or reduce your gross profit here and credit or re recognizes real gross gross profit here on the income statement of 432. So you see what's going on here. Two things we had to deal with. We had to de uh, deal going back to our chart here. You have to deal with your realized gross profit here and that's based on starting out you're you're taking this setting up a deferred gross profit account here as a <coughs> contract account to your accounts receivable and you would reduce that amount here each year and recognize it as realized gross profit. And then the other thing uh, for our accounts receivable itself here, that was a reduction here on the principal amount here. We started out with a 6,000 amount and then we reduced it by off of our schedule each year here. We reduced their accounts receivable that amount here and then we'd recognize it the cash, cash receipts here. But Along with this uh, principal amount here, we're also dealing with the interest that's being charged on this contract. So you can see what's going on here. Uh, you just credit, recognize the interest revenue for each year here, and reduce your accounts receivable and, and by those of those credit amounts here, and then debit or increase your cash for the cash payments that you would have received or cash receipts for each of those years here that you, on this installment contract. Okay, so that takes our uh, care of our installment contract here. And we just looked at how we'd record the interest revenue here and also the realized gross profit. Okay, so that'll uh, end our discussion.